Okay, this is a device that uh, somebody pointed out to me a while ago, um, which I was quite interested in having a look at. So we've got a couple to play with. Um, this is the Shelly, Shelly One, which is a Wi-Fi switch, Wi-Fi device. Uh, comes along with its own app. Uh, it appears from first looking at the instructions that it will also do standalone, so it will work on your own Wi-Fi network. Uh, as well as allowing you to connect through it uh, to using the cloud. So it gives you a, a number of options. Um, yeah, what I like about this is uh, I can use it standard as it is to control a uh, charger, a dumb charger, for controlling time period of charging on the car for the, for the MG or any other car for that matter, um, without having to modify it which is uh, great for you guys out there so you can just buy this and fit it and not have to worry about blowing things up which is wonderful um the other thing i like about the device is it's got the uh the different voltage ranges which it will work on it'll work 110 to 240 volts ac and it will also work 24 volts to 60 volts dc and also there's a little jumper on it uh, which you can uh, adjust or you have to uh, remove the little cover. Let's see if my fingers will do that. There we go, we remove that cover. And if we can see it, there's that little jumper there and at the moment it's on the bottom two pins. Um, but if you put the jumper up to the other pin, so it's at the top, it will then let it work on 12 volts DC. And uh, if we look at the instructions, we can see that for 240 volts AC it's at the bottom and for uh, 24 to 60 volts DC it's at the bottom or 12 volts DC you put it at the top so that is sort of very handy a bit on the specification of the device there so yeah I really like that and the other thing I really like is uh, it's half the size, even smaller than half the size of the Sonoff device, as well as being volt free. So it's ticking all the boxes so far. Um, yep, yeah, when you get it, there's a nice little warning slip in the packet to tell you to check that jumper. So we, we've done that. And uh, there's a support group there as well. I'm gonna have to have a look at that later. But uh, basically, yeah, we're going to look at wiring this in into the old trusty old Rolex charger and uh, we'll, we'll get that switching things on and off and hopefully just give you an indication of how we can use that and how easy it is to do. Um, I have loaded the app for it on my phone and that worked really easy. Um, I'm quite away from my router because normally with the Sonoff devices you need to be quite close to the router. Uh, I've not had to turn my network off 5G, so my network's working 5G and uh, it didn't seem to cause any issues. Uh, it allowed me to load the app, which loaded very easily, uh, and it set up very easy, so I'm quite impressed with that. So anyway, enough on that, and uh, we'll get some wires on this, and we'll see you again in a few minutes when we look at uh, wiring it into the controller. Okay, we have our new Shelly module programmed up and we've put some wires onto it. As you can see, we're planning on using this one at mains voltage with 240 volt input. So we've got our black and our neutral, our red in our live, because I tend to be old fashioned. Uh, but you can talk about blue and brown if you really want to. Blue for the neutral and brown for the live. Uh, just, I didn't have those color wires. And I tend to use the pink wire and I've uh, basically just put some connectors onto the end just to make it easier. Um, so we're now looking at where are we going to connect this. Um, this is where it gets interesting so I'm going to go back to our trusty Rolex that was donated to us by a member so we can look at a few things and as we can see at the moment this is powered up and working. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll get that switched off. So that's that's dead so we can put our fingers in there without being too worried about it um biggest confusion part is which is the pilot line uh, we can see here is the mains cable going to the car 
and we come in with some very large cables alive brown neutral with blue and the earth and alongside that is a single cable this is the pilot wire um, to make it confusing they don't always have it the same color um, this wire the majority of the ones I've seen has always been red uh, but I've also seen it as being a grey cable as well um, but at the end of the day it's uh, nothing really to worry about for what we're doing it won't make any difference so if you can go back to this cable and you can see as we've got we've got three large conductors and we've just got this one single cable you're going to follow that to see where it goes and we can see it's going into this connection here and basically all we will do is we will remove that connection and we will take that red wire out and on my unit here I've used the pink wire and you can see the pink wire has gone into one of the outputs from the relay zero and one one is the relay so that red wire we will remove and we will put into the spare zero connection and the pink wire here will be going back going back into that connection where the red wire is let's see if we get in front there you go that will go back there again we're now going to need a live and neutral feed because this is going to need 240 volts uh, so again we've got 240 volts live as the brown neutral um, preferably I don't want to disturb these wires because these are quite heavy current wires and we want those to be a really good connection but you can see on this module blue wire comes across to a neutral going into this connection and also the brown wire coming across and it goes to two points on this module one in P1 and it also loops to the back which is marked at live so what I will do on this module I'll actually use those two connections at the back and I'll put my live and neutral wires into there to feed my relay um, you need to look at what controller you're doing it may be the case that if they've come like on the BP charge master um, the where they bring these these large cables with the mains cable coming in and it will go straight onto the uh, PCB board that you're going to have to go in on some of these big connections with those cables um, so what we shall do now is we will go ahead and we'll pop back to you once we've got that wired in okay we're all wired in we return back to it and uh, as you can see here we've got the red wire which we removed from this connection and we've put into the zero on our relay can we get that on the camera yeah there we go so that's on the zero of the relay and the one or the eye coming out of the relay which was our pink wire we've put back into the connection where we took the red wire from uh, on this as you say this one's quite easy to see it's a red wire uh, as I said I've stated before the BP charge master the uh, non tethered one uh, when you look you will find you've got a red and a white wire which goes to the plug on the front uh, now on the charge master it seems that it's the white wire which you have to disconnect from the circuit board and put through your relay um, don't be too worried as long as it's only those two thin wires um, the wires that go to the charge plug you've got the very large cables to take the main power and there will be two smaller wires going to the charge plug um, you can try either one first it doesn't really matter um, if you can if you connect it to the wrong wire you won't cause any damage uh, it just means that it won't work the the other wire is actually used as a sense to tell the controller and like on this one this controller uh, it would tell it what size cable you've actually plugged into it because it's possible that you could have a 32 amp charger and you may plug a cable in that's only 16 amp and they just put a resistor in and that extra wire is used to measure that resistor so the controller knows that you can only take 16 amps so it will only uh, allow the car to take 16 amps um, 
but for what we're doing if you've got the wrong wire and you put the wrong wire in it just won't work so you just take the wire out put it back and uh, try the other wire as I say it's one of those things uh, sometimes the wire is a grey sometimes it's a white sometimes it's a red um, but then you know don't worry um, as long as it's only these very thin wires that you're playing with they're all at 12 volts and you can't cause any damage um, and just um, on this this if it had have been a, uh, a non-tethered charger we would have had another cable going in here into this other connection and that would have gone to the plug on the front and that would have told this controller what uh, power level to control at but anyway as we see we're, we're wired in and we've also come to the top and we're now wired in with our live and our neutral let's see if we can get that on the camera and best laid plans I had to cut the little uh, uh, the little terminals off the uh, crimp terminals that I put on because there's just not enough room in the connections so because these have already got these crimps on I've had to just cut the ones off my cables and put the bare strands in and put the crimps in again don't worry about it this is very low current uh, it's only milliamps going into this just to do the control circuit so it's not a problem so basically we're all sat there ready to power this up and we can power it all up there and it's going through its boot up ready to work and we should have control so we'll pop back in a minute and we'll show a video with it switching on and off but to do that it looks like i'm going to need to uh, get another phone to actually control it so we're back in a moment okay well we're back at the the charger and basically i've got my simulator box plugged in it's all switched on so it's basically thinking there's a car at the end that's all waiting to be charged uh, if I come down onto my other phone, we've got the Shelly app and I'll just very quickly put a, a car charger into it. And so basically I can go to this point here and uh, we've got the on off control. So if I uh, press the button, oh, and we hear the contactor go in and there we are charging. And if I press the button on the phone again, that's it switched off so we can see that it's actually controlling the pilot line and then it's enabling the charger to work um, now we can go on to this and this is the first time I've seen this app so I'm just I'm learning as we go along here uh, there are lots of things you can do um, it will work with your phone just across your own local Wi-Fi it doesn't have to use the cloud if you use the cloud and tell it to enable the cloud uh, it allows it to download the times and things um, I'm not 100% sure yet whether the times are actually programmed into the little controller here I believe they are so I think that once the times are programmed and it's talked to the internet and it's found out what the time is it will probably work without internet connection but uh, hey I'll leave you guys to come back and tell me about that uh, but as I say, if we click onto here for weekly schedule, we, we come up and it, it's talking here, turn on at given time. So we've enabled it, so we're going to add. And it basically brings up some times where you can just go along and add them and see, uh, add additional times onto this. Um, so I'm just seeing if we can go back a moment um, find him a way around how all this works um, application settings actions oh, all sorts of things on this let me just see where we are there uh, timer what does that give us oh auto on what I'm trying to find is one of the settings and let's try down here uh, this is the one power on default mode um, I tend to go to restore last mode uh, I would set that because basically if you have a power cut during the night and the power goes off even for a few seconds when it comes back on 
you want the charger to start to charge again. So if you tell it to restore the last mode, if the mains fails for a few seconds during the night, uh, as soon as the power comes back, your car will start to charge again. So that was one of the things. Um, there were other things, firmware updates. Uh, I've done an update on this. Uh, yeah, lots of bits which you can look at. Uh, I say more than I've gone into at the moment. But basically, uh, that shows it working. And we've got uh, the schedule. Now what I'm just... Got the ad. What I was looking to try and do is to see if we could see what was already set. Uh, let's do uh, the one o'clock set on. Tell it to save. So that's been saved. Add another one. Uh, so theoretically, then, if that's one o'clock or six o'clock, we can select the off. Uh, we can save that one. So theoretically, I believe that's set it to come on at one o'clock in the morning and off at six uh, every day of the week. But, uh, so hopefully that's uh, that's the way it should work. Anyway, hopefully that was interesting and show you the main things, uh, what needs to be done. Um, yeah, I quite like this little device. The beauty about it is if you've got some of the other systems where you've got 12 volts available, uh, you could use that 12 volts instead of having to connect the mains to it, which you might feel happier about. Anyway, thanks for listening. Take care.